So, I haven't made a video like this in a long time. Yeah, I had to do that just because, why not? But yeah, I haven't made a video like this in a while. Um, no cheese pops on my lips. Sheesh. Um, basically, um, those of you who are new to my channel, you probably don't know this, but I used to make wrestling reviews back in the old days. Yep. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like that, but with football, so to speak. Cause why not? First of all, I want to go over the draft that season. Okay. What was so notable about the draft? We got a guy who choked his girlfriend, Chris Cook. Yay! Got Toby Gerhardt. He was alright. He was alright. He would have been considered much better than he was had he not been back up to Adrian Peterson. <laughs> but whatever. The, the best player they picked was definitely Everson Griffin. My homeboy, Everson Griffin. Yep. They picked Everson Griffin in that draft. Note that, uh, here's a little bit of a note according to the Wikipedia page, and from facts I know. Basically, um, they destroyed, um... They traded their first overall pick to Detroit, which they had the 30th pick in the draft. I just want to point this out for a second. You can clearly see this right here. Let me just point this out for a second. Guess it. I'm going to. This is like a um, pretty important for the Lions season. Guess who they picked for the 30th pick? One second. Freaking load. Okay. Who picked it? Who did they pick? They picked. Jahavid Best. Jahavid Best. I just want to point this out. I'm going to be playing this clip just because I can. One second. What were you doing? Hey, plus for us, I guess. Um, I guess it's a plus for us. He did bad. I did this for two reasons. The first being so I could show off the sound effect I'm going to use for this video, and the second being I wanted to crap on Lions fans. Yay. So fun fact about me, I think this is worth pointing out. I was in second grade when this game happens. When this season happens. Second grade. This was the first... If you case you're wondering, this is the first season I watch football regularly. <clears throat> and who boy... Who boy does this car be? <laughs> to be honest, the mere fact that I'm a Vikings fan past 2000, probably 2004, is just amazing to me. You'll see why shortly. So basically, uh, first game of the season, who boy? Uh, well, see what happened there. So basically, this was a rematch to the previous season of the NFC Championship game. Bounty gate, anyone? Well, um, here's to bring it to you, but. Well, they lost. It's like, all right, no big deal. Seems like a regular occurrence at this point. Well, it would be until like seven years later. Get it? I mean, good to know that stayed the same, huh, Saints fans? Let's gonna play this. Good to know that changed, huh, Saints fans? Alright, whatever. Next game is against Miami. We have one of the best quarterbacks of all time in Brett Favre, one of the best running backs in Adrian Peterson, an average wide receiver in wide receiving core, a good defense. We can beat Miami, right? Right? They lost to the Dolphins. 14 to 10. I am disappointed by that fact. Good news, the Vikings finally won a game! We did it! Everybody have fun tonight. Screw you, Lions, we won. Screw you, Lions, we won. Yeah. It is worth mentioning, however, that 
the wide receiver, uh, Sidney Rice, got hurt in that game. Yep. So what did they do? They saw they ended up trading for one of the best receivers of all time, Randy Frickin' Moss. Gosh. I'm gonna get copyrighted for this, aren't I? Remember a time when the Jets were actually were actually good? Yeah, I remember that. Problem is, the last time they were good was when I was two was when I was in second grade when the season happened. Yeah, the Vikings played against the Jets in the New Meadowlands. And what was so notable about that? Literally, the most notable thing about it was is um. Brett Favre threw his 500 career touchdown pass. So everyone, well, we still lost, but I guess everyone wins. I don't know. Who boy, um, supposed to trigger every single Cowboys fan in the world, and that's the risk I'm willing to take. Not going to lie, um, <clears throat> Dallas Cowboys fans are like the most easily triggered people. And just amazing to see him lose here. I mean, come on. So let's see here. So we won Skull. All right. Now it's worth mentioning that, sure, they had, they, um, now it's worth mentioning that they are two and four, but they still have a shot at making it, I guess. Kinda. So and here comes Green Bay. And where do I begin? Uh, here's the thing I freaking hate Green Bay. Just saying. Let me just point out, this season probably did not help because they won the Super Bowl that year. And everyone in my second grade class became a Packers fan, which broke my second grade heart. Um, ever since then, I've, I've hated the Packers since then. So what happens? They lose by four points. Let me just worth pointing out, they had two more times to get in the end zone at the four-yard line. Okay, this is like a literal Russell Wilson play before Russell Wilson, except Brett Favre didn't throw a pick. Give that man a ward, I guess. I like how, because I mean, instead of throwing the ball, instead of running the ball with the best running back in the league, now nah, we'll just throw it a couple times. They threw it a couple times, missed every time, and they lost. And yet we wonder why Brad Childress doesn't isn't a respectable coach. Then New England came along. Not really important. It's just um, they lost that one. So I just want to mention this game because this, in my opinion, was Brett Favre's last taste of magic. I remember watching this game. It was me, and my uncle, and and my dad at I think it was my grandfather's house watching this game. Um, and yeah. Pretty, pretty cool experience, I can't lie. Um, watching that game just solidified to me. Yeah, Brett Favre's pretty good. Um, and honestly, this is probably the high point of a pretty cruddy season. So, that's good. But yeah, this, this game was probably the high point of a pretty crappy season. So, there's that. I just want to point out that the Vikings cut Randy Moss. This is my response to that, even though it happened nine years ago. You're not just wrong, you're stupid. They put against the Bears next week. Then they played against Green Bay and lost. Sorry, just uh, getting a little Vietnam flashback from second grade. But hey, Brad Childress got fired! <laughs> Yes! Good news. When the intern, intern coach Leslie, Fra Leslie Frazier finally won a game! Woo! We finally won a game! Okay. The next game was my first ever game as a Vikings fan. Brett Favre got hurt on the first play of the game, and I cried like a baby. Still won, though. That was good. The rest of the season was losses across the board, except for the game against Philadelphia. Some summary of this season. I hate all life. I don't think it could get any worse. Oh wait, 2011 exists. Crap!